You have spent a fortune on a new entertainment system. You've got the big TV, the surround sound, the Blu-ray player, and everything else that goes with it. The last thing you want to do is spend another small fortune on a unit to house it all. And that's where this project comes in handy. It's a stylish unit without the price tag. And the reason is because we're going to be making it out of two sheets of 19mm plywood, which you can buy for around $80 a sheet. The first step is to use our guide that we made earlier because we need to rip down this sheet into a variety of different widths. So once I've got my mark, I'll put the guide up against it, clamp it down, and just run the saw through multiple times to get all my cuts. Right, I've got all the timber cut down to their widths. Now we need to cut them to their lengths. For that, I've just got a few more guides over here that I've made to different sizes. Once I've spread these out, I'll sit the guide down and run the power saw through. All right, that's a sheet load of timber all cut up. Now it's time to glue this sheet back together. What do I mean by that? Well, the wider widths, they're going to get laminated into 13 pieces high. And they're going to be the outside of our units. For the middle of our unit, it's going to be these narrower lengths. And they're going to be six high, and that will make up the shelf. And I'm just using some PVA glue here but I'm applying it with a paintbrush. That way, I get an even coverage without any air pockets or voids. All right, now our glue's dry. It's time to go over the edges with a belt sander. That way, it will make everything nice and flat and smooth. Now, when I first cut these up, I made them a little bit longer than what they had to be. That way, now that they're all dry, it means I can mark up the exact measurement, go through with the power saw, and I'll get a nice straight edge. It's time for this unit to start taking shape. So this plywood is going to be our base, and we're going to build up from there. I've got the two different widths on each side, the wider ones. I'm just going to start attaching them. The narrower sources of our ply are going to be for the centre shelf, where you put your Blu-ray player. And it's exactly the same process as we did for the main frame. I'm just going to glue it and screw it together. Now, you might have noticed that I've only screwed one side. That's because this is blocking me from the other way. So I'm just using glue and clamps. And don't worry, that is well and truly strong enough. For the position of the shelf, you can put it wherever you like. You can go off to the side, you can make two of these. I've decided to put a smack bang in the centre. You'll notice that I've made it a little bit shorter, and that's so I can get a backing board on this point here. Now we're ready for the top, which is exactly the same as the bottom, but instead of using screws, I'm using bullet head nails. That way, when we putty them up, they won't stand out as much. Right, it's time to add some height to this cabinet and a little bit more strength. For that, I'm putting on a plinth, which is this 2 by one that I've cut up and will go around the perimeter like a picture frame. I've just painted it black. And then for the height, I've just got some store-bought legs that I've also painted black. The job is nearly done. Just the backing board needs to be fitted, complete with a hole for all those cables. And to finish the cabinet off, I'm just going over it with a Danish oil. The good thing about this, you can see it gives us a really deep colour, which makes this end grain pop. To apply it, I'm just using a rag. It's very easy to use. And after two coats, we'll be finished. I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. And it's only cost around $200 in materials. Good luck trying to find something that's been custom built in a shop for that price.